Okay. So if I compare VCD with the factors here, I'm gonna draw some links now. Are you okay if I tell you that CA affects your key export import categories? Yes. Singapore has a CA in what? Pharmaceuticals, high-end electronics. So we export these goods. We do not have a CA in uh, agriculture, textiles. So import those goods. CA also affects who you trade with. You don't trade with a country that produces the same things as you, right? You try to find complementary CA instead of overlapping CA. So this is how I draw links from CA. Now, if a country is more affluent, you can potentially say if they're more affluent, okay, it affects volume. You can even say it affects composition. They import more luxury goods. A change in taste and preferences also affects composition. And direction who you trade with <coughs> whereas transport cost I think affects volume transport cost also affects who you trade with you trade with your immediate neighbors signing your FDA also like that I find that a lot of students going to the exams, they know determinants because why you memorize from school notes. But when you're trying to explain determinants, you highlight, oh, taste and preferences. But you don't end off with which part of VCD has changed. You're not addressing the dartboard. Failure to address the dartboard means uh, potentially six out of 10. You know? So in fact, I, I don't care. I don't care if you affluence, you only tie to volume, you didn't tie to composition. I'm perfectly fine. But if you don't tie to any part of VCD, it's not cool. Okay? So any questions on determinants? No? Then I'll just push this uh, to address two other points and we'll take a break. Okay? Much needed break. Okay, for some of you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So I'm pulling out the things from international econs that you all need to know how. Okay? So if you know that these are the determinants, the second thing you need to know is reasons for change in the patterns of trade. How can your POT change? Okay. So this is a big part of your answer. How can your CA change? Changing CA in some nodes, they call this dynamic CA. Dynamic comparative advantage. So what is dynamic CA? To me, it's GTRP. Still remember? I said got to revise for prelims, right? For some people, already too late. In the sense, prelims over, not in the sense, too late. Okay? So now it becomes got to revise properly. So it's still relevant huh, for A levels. This is globalization. This is technology. This is resource change. This is government policies. These are the reasons for a change in your comparative advantage. Globalization, I like to use the example. Globalization is about free flow of uh, capital, labor, and your um, goods and services, yes. Okay, so in this case, uh, Singapore can actually tap on foreign labor to develop a CA, okay? A CA in the hospitality sector. When you say hospitality, do you know what you're referring to? Hospitality, a lot of it is about uh, tourism, and the rest of it is mines. What is mines? Meetings, conferences, exhibitions, and the other one is called incentives. 
so when I was in MAS, where we had very big functions, right? Like all international conference of all the banking regulators, we had to provide incentives. Incentives in the sense, the delegates will come here with their family. Then we need to charter buses to bring the families to uh, Chinatown, okay, to Sentosa, to Orchard. Uh, uh, so they spend, uh, stimulate the economy. Okay, so uh, without foreign labor, we can't do these things. You know, it's very labor intensive. When you hold some meetings, you need ushers. You need people to uh, take charge of a setup. Even the AV can take a lot of people uh, to set up. Okay, so this is how globalization enables us to gain a secret. Okay, you can also say globalization brings competition. Competition can also erode CA. Singapore had a CA in electronics. That CA has been eroded by China. Okay, so it can work both ways. Okay, technology. If you need an example, look no further than fracking. Can so technology can give you a CA? Can technology erode your CA? Yes, if you're Saudi Arabia, because now with fracking, US has a CA in oil, right? So for Saudi, it works the other way around. Make sense, ah? Huh? This is example driven. This one not much analysis, okay? What about resource change? Do you know China is losing its CA in labor intensive goods? Which resource am I looking at? Labor. Why? Because birth rate is falling, aging population. So nothing is given uh, or granted uh, for forever. Uh, okay? Aging population plus falling birth rate. Okay. What about policies? Okay. If you look at policies, Singapore has a lot of policies designed to drive us towards becoming a smart nation, right? Why? Because we are trying to build a CA here. CA, for example, okay, this could be new to you, but it's a useful example. In hosting data centers, we would like to export our expertise. Now everything needs data. Facebook also needs a data center to house all their data. You heard of data centers? Huh? A lot of things you use, okay, uh, online accounts and all. The information is not stored in a CD yet. We are talking about a lot of information. You store in a very big data center. Data centers need to be built near water because it's very hot. The computer systems keep running. So Singapore is surrounded by water. We are already there in terms of one resource endowment. You cool down the systems. Second thing we need is expertise. Too bad our systems were hacked a few times. Huh? Some people lost confidence. Okay. Any questions here? Huh? Okay, so reasons for a change in patterns of trade could be due to a change in CA. Second one, a change in affluence. I think that one, quite easy. Uh. You can just talk about China, right? Rising middle class. So in China, maybe you can say they are importing more luxuries. More luxuries. Of course, a change in transport costs. This is, this is quite easy. Uh. Technology is bringing transport costs even lower. So now we are buying things from across the world, right? If you just go online, you go to a, a Q10 or you go to Alibaba, you can buy things from all across the world. It's not so expensive to ship them, it's faster even. You see, I've just talked about these. Uh. Change in CA, change in transport costs, change in affluence, change in taste and preferences, very easy also, right? So we talk about changing taste and preference. If you want a simple one, you can say, oh, maybe some people like Korean culture, so they are buying more things from Korea. Okay. I think that's one thing that's invaded the Singapore consumerism scene. Okay. Uh, okay, next one is a change in which one? Oh yeah. Signing of FTAs. Okay. If you talk about signing of FTAs. 
I think if you write this in your essay, can you bring up deglobalization? Like US backing out of what's that agreement? TPP, right? Yes. So when US backed out of TPP, that is also going to reduce the volume of trade. You talk about Brexit. Same thing. You follow the news, you know what happened in the UK Parliament, right? Ah, Boris Johnson just got defeated. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, last point. You see, I first brought you here to determinants. Then I told you why patterns of trade can change. You see, I gave you those factors. Can you tie it to BCD yourself? Because I already showed you how to tie. 